Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBPost.com, and in today's tutorial, I will be going over the GNU Cash layout and how things work together. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up. It lets me know the videos is helping, which encourages me to produce more videos. Let's begin. Before you begin working with a new cache, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the layout and how things work. The first thing you will notice is that each time you open GNU Cash, the tip of the day appears, ready and available to offer helpful tips about using the program. These helpful tips provide useful information for beginning users. To view more of the tips, you simply click on the Next button to continue viewing the tips. When you have finished, you can select Close to close out the tip of the day. Now, if you don't like the idea of seeing these tips pop up every time you open the program, click on the check mark next to show tips at startup to remove the check mark, which will deselect this feature. You can click on the close tab to save the changes and close out. If you change your mind at any time, you can select help from the file menu. There you will have the option to activate the tip of the day again. Next, you have the GNU Cash Bars. At the very top of the Business Accounts window is the Title Bar, which displays the file name for this particular set of business accounting records. The title of your file will only appear here once you have named your file and saved it. Below the Title Bar is the Menu Bar. Clicking on a Menu Bar Title heading opens up the menu to display the available options. If you move the mouse pointer over one of the menu items, the description of what that menu option is for can be seen on the bottom of the screen. If you look on the right side of a menu item, you can see the keyboard shortcut you can use to access that particular menu item quickly and easily. Below the menu bar is the toolbar, which contains buttons for quick access to commonly used functions. If you're not sure what a specific toolbar button does, move your mouse pointer over that toolbar button and a description of the function will appear. Below the toolbar are the five basic categories of accounts used in accounting. Here you have it, the five basic categories of accounts used in accounting by a business or an organization to classify and distinguish financial transactions conducted during a specific annual accounting period. These five basic categories is what you will use to keep track of your business accounting records. The assets category keeps track of the things the business owns, such as money in a business checking account or money owed to you from a customer who purchased something from your business on credit. The equity category keeps track of the business's overall net worth. The expenses category it keeps track of your legitimate business expenses. And that's what you will use to lower your tax obligation. Examples of business expenses are office supplies you purchase, advertising fees, products you purchase to resell, or any expense that is necessary for your business to run smoothly. The income category keeps track of the business's gross earnings. You can create various income accounts here and each subaccount will keep a running total of the income you are earning from each specific income source. The liabilities category keeps track of how much money the business owes and just like with any one of the category of accounts you can create new subaccounts here as needed. For example, you may have a business loan you are making payments on or business credit cards, or you purchase your resale products on credit from vendors. These type of transactions would be considered liability transactions. Next, we have the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is basically the five basic categories I just went over and their list of subaccounts. Clicking on the small triangle to the left of any one of the categories, such as the expenses category, will expand the account tree to reveal the child accounts of that category 
also referred to as subaccounts. GNU Cash refers to it as the account tree. In accounting terms, it is known as the chart of accounts and it is what is used to classify financial transactions. To widen the account tree window column to expand the view, point to the top right edge of the column and when the double arrow appears, press and hold down the left side of your mouse and drag the column to your desired width. Each subaccount has a checkbook register. Entering data into a checkbook register is how you will keep track of your financial transactions. To open up any one of the subaccount register windows, for example, the books account, you can open an account in three different ways. You can right click on the account name to open up a shortcut menu, and here you can select open account from the menu, or you can select the open button on the toolbar. Or you can simply double click on the account name to open up the account register. As you can see here, as the name suggests, each account register window looks similar to the way you would enter information into a checkbook register. Both the GNU Cash account tree window and the account register window contain two bar buttons. The difference here is the account register has additional two bar options. The toolbar contains buttons for quick access to commonly used functions. Below the toolbar is the lower bar GNU Cash uses as a tabbed model that allows you to open multiple account registers and reports at the same time. The title tab at the top contains the name of the open account. Each open window is given a tab on this bar that you can click on to view that window at any time as long as it's listed here on this bar. To close out a open window or all the different windows, click on each X next to the account title to close out that window. With all the open windows closed, you will find that you are back on the account tree window view. Back on the main account tree window, looking at the chart of accounts, think about this for a moment. If you're using the GNU Cash default chart of accounts as opposed to creating your own accounts manually, you may find that the GNU Cash default chart of accounts are not necessarily exactly what you're looking for for your particular business needs. But there is hope. You do have options. You can customize the chart of accounts by selecting new on the toolbar to create new accounts specific to your business needs or you can use the delete button for accounts you don't need, which I don't recommend deleting any accounts unless or until you have experience working with the GNU Cash program. But what I would suggest is that you rename the accounts to suit your purposes by selecting edit on the toolbar and when the edit window opens, enter the new name for the file in the description and select OK. Just those simple changes can make a world of difference. Now, last but not least, you are given a window into the current financial status of your business at any given time. If you look at the bottom of the screen, here you have the status bar, which is keeping track of the current status of your business based on your business annual accounting period. The net assets is keeping track of how much the business owns. The profits feature keeps track of how much money the business is actually making in profits which is not the gross amount, which is all the money the business is earning. The profits, which will be shown here, is the money left over after the business's deductions and liabilities have been taken into account. These simple features is what gives GNU Cash much of its power in managing your finances.